Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, according to the latest report, it is indicating that Kenyans have doubled their travel overseas in the last six months in comparison to the same period in 2021. <laughs> and uh, if you check on the report by VFS Global, they are indicating that there have been an increase of 80% in foreign travel in 2023. 80%. <laughs> and among the top leading uh, nations for Kenya include Canada, we have Australia, we have China, Gulf countries, Italy, and the um, Netherlands. Those are the main destinations that Kenyans are um, fleeing to. So, if we check again on visa application process in 2022, also tripled in comparison to 2021, three times. <laughs> so, the question is, why are Kenyans fleeing overseas? That is the big question. It is now 80%. And in this application, it has tripled. Right now, if you want a visa, you have to apply earlier. No wonder the other time they were saying that the machine has broke down. And uh, when it comes to processing of passport, then it is hectic. Now you can understand. The numbers are doubling. And the question remains, why are Kenyans fleeing overseas country? Before we try to go deep into that, just a quick request. For those who are watching and uh, you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, the first truth is that this year is the first year William Ruto is fully <laughs> handling the matters of this country as the sitting president. We talk of last year, it was all about handover and you know all those ceremonial things and uh, just getting to uh, understand operations, knowing the job. But from January, he was busy doing the work and if the things is doing, then the impact can be filled on the ground. So, factors leading to this kind of move, number one could be domestic factor. People have financial hardship in Kenya, which has been attributed by high cost of living. Sometimes you look on the money you have, and you check on the budget you need to go for one month, then you give up. You wonder if you got a salary or you not get a salary. <laughs> we put a thirty thousand. Then you are working in Nairobi. Start from rent. You come to food that you need to use. Then you 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 come to transportation fare that you're going to use for the whole month when you are going to duty and coming back, you end up saving nothing out of 30,000. Or if there is any saving, then you end up saving just 5,000. One of the worst. At least if the country economy was fair, if you are earning 30, at least you should save 15,000. And then 15, he end up on Matumizi, or Lipe Rent, or Nwacha Kuna, or Garamika Transport, and Wadoto Waeda Shule. But this is what is happening in this country. Because of this, people are feeling that they better look for green pasture elsewhere. <laughs> look on the uh, issue of increased in taxation by William Ruto, the house levy. Now, you are going back to that very, very same salary. Someone who is earning 30. Then you go and remove house levy. In fact, this month they are going to double. 
instead of 1.5% is going to be 3%. So, how slavery is contributing to people feel that indeed we are working for the government but we have nothing to benefit because again at the end of the day there's no way you're going to reclaim taxes. You cannot reclaim, you say that Now, taxes were moved from 8% to 16%. That means Ruto has doubled. And indeed Ruto wants to achieve what Uhuru achieved in 10 years in one year. That's why you check on his budget. I'm telling you, he wants to achieve this one within one year. Ruto wants to achieve what Kibaki achieved in 10 years in one year. Because of that, he's going deep into our pocket. He is literally robbing us. This is highway robbery. Because of this, Kenyans are feeling that they are left with nothing. So, the option they are having on table, they rather even buy a job where necessary and get out. Or if there is a way they can get out, men are willing even to dump those jobs and go outside to at least get green pastures. This is one of the main reasons people are outside domestic factor. Hmm. Number two, we are talking about an employee. Is it number three? Unemployment. Unemployment rate is going high currently, standing at 5.5%. Ask yourself one question. If all the problems we are having in this country to an extent people are fleeing the country has not been brought by William Ruto, how many people have lost job from the time Ruto came to power? Or let me put it this way. How many people have been employed to add to those who are already employed from the time Ruto came to power? The reality is that there have never been employment. Instead, we have had people losing their jobs. People have been terminated. The rate of unemployment is going high. Investors are fleeing. That's why Kenyans are now even just fleeing also to look for green pasture elsewhere. To look at the of the Just lead into unemployment. To look at the of the land of the And to abolish it. Just lead into unemployment kukakuwa na ile uwezo wa kufanya biashara hii Kenya kwa sababu gharama ya kufanya biashara ilikuwa chini you could do business right now with the current uh, uh, act we have uh, which, which is now operational on taxes many people are now cost cutting on expenditure Mama mboga unaweza enda pale ushinde kwa soko na mboga yako ukosa mtu wa kununua. Why? People are cutting down. Kama alikuwa anunua nyanya tano anaanza kununua mbili. Kama alikuwa anunua vitunguo kumi, anaanza kununua vitunguo ngapi? Mbili. So you end up losing the market and with all this many people have lost their jobs. Your finance bill has been a poison that is leading Kenyans to walk away from the country just running from Ruto's administration to go and look for green pastures elsewhere. Unemployment rate. <laughs> Other factors include um, people are going out because of uh, education and business. First one is job, and I'll explain all the domestic factors there. Then education factor comes in, and business. Kuna watu walikuwa nafanya biashara hapa Kenya lakini biashara zinaharibika. What do you do? Enda kwingine tafuta kufanya kazi huko. Ama enda huko wengine watu wa kwenda nje kutafuta biashara kurudisha Kenya. It has been a problem. So you go and do business elsewhere. Education factor what one of clear nowadays because there's a lot of you know the rate of employment is going down in Kenya. I rather study outside then from there once I finish my studies I can start searching for a job in those areas. So parents are opting to take their students out of the country for study, being sure of getting a job, at least after finishing the college degree. So
So heri mtoto asome nje ugaramike usomeshe huko alafu atafute kazi huko na maisha yaendelee. Kuliko kaa Kenya umaliza shule alafu kashagwa anakuambia the only job we have ni mjengo. So we are thinking to the end. Lastly, which is not a major one. We had covid pandemic and the many things were stopped. Traveling was restricted. Now covid is no longer there, things are normalized. People are now trying to travel. But again, if you do a comparison on what happened in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, this time round, numbers are doubling. You can never compare to all those years when even there was no uh, uh, corona. COVID-19. But it's one of the factors, though not the main factor. She done his recall. So, in simple terms, Kenyans are tired and sick of William Samuel Ruto, and that's why they are walking away from Ruto. People are walking on Ruto, they are looking for elsewhere, they want to leave the country to survive. Because indeed, this economy is looting Kenyans dry. It has milked Kenyans, it is highway robbery. 